Hello everybody out there. My name is Mark Torian of the Bullet Boys and you are watching LA Metal Media Magazine. Can you dig it? LA Metal Media with Ali Jorgen. Hey everybody, this is Ali Jorgen from LA Metal Media Magazine and we are so excited. We are live here backstage at the Whiskey in Los Angeles. We are with Mark Torian from the Bullet Boys. Hi Mark. Hi darling, how are you? Thank you for coming out. I'm so excited to be here tonight. We were kind of hearing some of that sound check. You guys sound amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we've been working our tails off and getting ready for this uh, From Out of the Skies 2018 tour. So we are so excited, and you chose L.A. to launch the brand new CD. Is there a reason behind that? Yes, uh, because I was born and raised here, and I love this city with all of my heart and soul, and everybody that uh, lives here and that we grew up together. Uh, very, very um, excited, and uh, how would you say it? It's just a very magical time for us um, with this new record from Out of the Skies, and that everybody um, that has had an early listen to it has been just showering us with a lot of praise and it's 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 really humbling but it's really like wow you know it's it's like kind of our wow moment right now you know uh, and that's why we wanted to have this special moment of ours to share it with uh, our city who I, the city that we were in love with which is the city of los angeles and i really want to uh, take the time right now to thank um the amazing radio station that is just my favorite since I was a kid, KLOS. Yes, KLOS. KLOS has um, given us love and support and has uh, created a lot of magic with us as, uh, as of late in the past uh, with, with um, uh, the record that we released two and a half years ago, Elefante. They really got behind it and we were just completely like uh, uh, humbled by the fact. And now they have come up and we're, they're going to be doing a record release party on March the 24th. And we're so stoked. Oh, it's going to be so yeah, rad. That's so awesome. And we're going to be playing our whole record. And um, the city of LA is going to get a, a little taste of From Out of the Skies. So awesome. we're so excited. I mean, it, it's like a, I can't even tell you, it's just like this incredible um, a dream that's coming in, into fruition for all of us. And uh, the four of us are just like, we kind of look at each other sometimes and go, they got it. <laughs> you know? They got the record. They did. They actually like it. You know? yeah, so no, it's, it's really humbling, though, man. I, I just got to tell you, we work, and I've worked so hard in this business. Um, I shouldn't say I collectively. We've, we've worked so hard uh, musically, and um, we've all gone to some really hard times in our personal lives with what we do in our personal lives. So that we're having this comeuppance is uh, just a blessing. We're, we're, we're really blessed. So the recording of the record, it's, it's so exciting. Tell us about that and how it came to be. Sure, what would you like to, hear, what would you like to know um, about it? Well, we know you recorded in a, a very special place. Yes. I'm sure everybody wants to know how okay. that was and how that sure. happened Sure, we recorded uh, from Out of the Skies. We were very privileged to uh, go into this magical place, which is called 606 Studios, which is the studio where the Foo Fighters have cut all their records. Um, David Grohl, I have just huge admiration, love. Uh, he stepped up for our band and allowed us to come into this beautiful studio to record this record uh, with our producers, um, uh, Luke Tierney and Rick Parker uh, in the band. And we were, uh, were completely blown away. I mean, I, I, know, I know some of the cats in the band and uh, they were um, actually, how it actually started is, I'll just be real honest with you, you wanna hear the whole story. And there's Cruiser, come on Cruiser. <laughs> This is Cruiser, you guys. He is our mascot, and hey and he is he, he travels with us everywhere. And I know everybody sees him, so he can hang out in there and be good boy, Cruiser. He is awesome. Where's your daddy at? So, and so it's guys from my genre of music don't ever get to be in that type of studio. And it actually started off was I wanted to do it at this other friend of mine's studio who I won't mention his name because I love him so much, I don't want it to be, but it beat this weird thing, but it, it didn't work out. So um, Taylor Hawkins had invited me to come and sing for Bob Coburn's, um, well, we were doing like a benefit for Bob Coburn. And he has a band called Chevy Metal, so badass band. And he called me, goes, hey Mark, you know, can you, he text me, can you come up and do a couple songs? Yeah, yeah. So I showed up and, you know, everybody's there, you know, Steve Jones, Dee Snyder, everybody, you know, all these people, I just love them so much. and. He walked back there, and then I had a chance to talk to Chris Shefflett, 
and I'm, I'm telling Sh Shifty, you know, we were going to go and do this and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, now I don't know where to go and what studio. And he's like, you guys need to come to 606. You know, and then he calls Taylor. He goes, Mark's got a new record. He goes, yeah, yeah, no, 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 come in the studio. He goes, just send it out, you know, get Lou and make sure that David hears the record. And so that's how it all happened. Wow. And, and David heard it and he said, you know, he talked to me, he goes, you're taking big risks on this record. And I, and I applaud that. And he goes, and I said, you know, I really want to thank you for the music that you wrote because um, I've, I've gone through some really trying times and emotional times personally, and your music saved my ass. And he says, and you know what, do you know what, Mark? Do you know why I wrote that? For the exact same reason you just said. Oh, that's so awesome. And to, you know, for him to come in and go, to come in, right, you know, I'm walking out into the parking lot, and he comes in, and we're just like, he goes, I know you, and it's like, I know you, but yet I don't know you. He goes, no, you do, you know. <laughs> so he was just so sweet and just such an amazing human. So um, everybody will say, yeah, Mark, you know, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not trying to stroke people. I'm just trying to say from my heart that we're very grateful and, and very humble for the fact that we got to record that record. Oh, we're so excited. And how long did the process take? You know, it, it went it went pretty quickly. Um, we had maybe about a week of pre-production, and we went in, and we only had uh, a certain amount of days, so we were able to cut it very quickly. Uh, we went and did uh, vocals at uh, at another at another home studio. So, I would say it took us probably. Well, we had a we had a break in the middle of the record because um, one of our producers had to. Uh, he had a, a family function that he had to go, so there was like a couple months off. So, but everything was actually really done by then. The only thing we came is probably fixed up. Uh, we brought some horns in on this record. Uh, uh, there's uh, there's uh, viola and cello on this record, and um, there's different uh, musical things on musical instruments on this record. And it's just it it, it has a lot of peaks and valleys, and it uh, it has something for everything everybody on this record. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, it was the writing process different on this? Did you do something different, or did it? Was I, it the yeah, it I actually wanted to take what we did on Alafonte and uh, take it to even maybe a um, this, not the same thing, but in the same genre of what we were doing. Um, this record's punk rock, uh, funk, uh, R and B, rock and roll, and metal all kind of just thrown into a blender and put through there with, with uh, uh, some uh, pop influences also. I, I really uh, put it out there uh, really lyrically and uh, some of the things that, that I've gone through in, in, um, in, a, in bad ways and in good ways. So I've never really been able to do that. So that's the one thing that's very scary when you're honest with your, with your lyrics and, and you really let it all out there, like are really honest. It, it, I hear artists always talk about that, and I was go, ah, what are they talking about? And then when you actually do it, you're like, oh, wait a minute, that's right. This is this isn't that easy to be so so honest. But I really think that we accomplished that with this with this new with this new album. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. So, so you have a, a guest vocalist, Jesse on D Evil. So, um, and the video is amazing, and the song's amazing. And we even had a little sneak peek. It sounds incredible. Yeah. How did that all that happen? Well, we, uh, as everybody knows from a lot of um, articles that I've done, I love the Eagles of Death Metal. I love everybody in the band, and I've loved their music since they first started. Um, Jesse Hughes is a hero to me. Uh, I don't think there's any, ever been a man that's gone through uh, the horrific situation that he's and the band has went through in Paris. Uh, not to not to uh, not to get too wordy about it, but um, he's like me. There's certain guys that are that live, eat, and breathe rock and roll, and that they love music, and that's what they do. And Jesse's that type of magical person. Um, we have kindred spirits from uh, different things uh, besides music that we both relate to, uh, that we both went uh, into. One of the things that we're both into is tennis, wow. which is... <laughs> 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 so he's like, we're in, he's into it, I'm into it. We played when we were kids, and, you know, uh, so there was, that, there was this one thing. So all these really trippy little things that kind of come through. But how that happened was uh, it was a li liaison to uh, Eric Eppel, uh, Epi, who works for... Um, the Eagles of Death Metal, and uh, a friend of ours, you know, was just there, and uh, I, I was asking them, you know, is, is there any way that there, the possibility that 
can I send you the song? And I could sh- we're getting ready to finally do a final final mix on this thing. Is there any way Jesse would really come in and sing? I would be like so blown away if he could come in. So he goes, send me the song. So he played him the song, and Jesse's like, this is awesome. Where do you want me to go, you know? <laughs> so we weren't too sure if he's going to really actually come. So we're sitting there, and then all of a sudden, it's kind of like the Clint Eastwood movie. There he comes walking up the street, like up the, all the way up the block, and I'm going, Oh my God, there he is. It's like a, kind of like a movie. It was really rad. And so the first thing we did actually when I first saw him, he just threw down his bag, literally came over and fucking hugged me. And we both, he, I just started tearing up. I, I couldn't help it. It was just like, I've been wanting to meet him for so long and I, he's wanted to meet me. And we sat there and then we sat in the back in the, <clears throat> in the backyard of um, uh, our producer's uh, house and he went into sharing some really deep stuff with me and, and uh, for him to have uh, the heart to be able to share that with me and my family was uh, was really ingratiating. So uh, I love him with all my heart and I uh, big big props to um, to Jesse, to Eric Apple, to Jenny V, to Davy Joe, who I love with all my heart and, and to Jorma, uh, their drummer, their amazing band. And hopefully one of these days we'll be doing some shows together. Awesome. Okay, so tonight here at the whiskey, how much yes. how much new material can we are we going to be getting well, a little? We're going to be, going to be surprising some people tonight. We're going to be doing a little bit of the, our, our classics with our old hits with uh, some of our new stuff. But uh, we were are definitely doing some songs from out of the skies tonight. We are so so glad and privileged that you chose LA tonight oh, to launch you. this CD. We want to find out a little bit more about this KLOS thing, so we can put it out on the wire and let everybody know about it. Well, tonight, um, DJ Melissa Max, who we just love with all our hearts, she's going to be announcing the band tonight. So um, we are just ecstatic and very very grateful and thankful to KLOS for um, coming in and uh, being so loving to us. Um, and uh, sharing our music uh, with everybody here in L.A. and the world. Give us that date again? Yes, uh, March the 24th. You'll start hearing it. If you're here in L.A., you're going to start hearing it a lot in Cal OS. So uh, March the 24th is going to be uh, a record release party with Cal OS, and it's going to be so rad. I can't wait. Okay, everybody, March 24th, you get to hear the entire CD, the brand new monster magical CD that we're so excited, we can't wait. And it actually drops March the 23rd. Oh, so yeah. so we're doing it actually the day after, but on the 23rd it drops. And uh, I've done a lot of uh, interviews from overseas, and uh, I've been really, it's been really interesting on what they're telling me about the record. And... Uh, it, it's just been really fantastic. I mean, they really, really loved the record. And I tip of the hat to everybody in the UK and, and abroad for actually taking the time to listen to uh, this band, this little band from SoCal called the Bullet Boys and listening to our album. It means a lot to us and that, that they're loving. And, it's, um, and especially our friends in the UK, we just love you all so, so much. And that uh, we hit number one uh, a week and a half ago on Hard Rock Hal Radio, which is a... So, and it was like one of our first number ones in, uh, in quite some years. So I know it's a, it's a big um, uh, uh, social internet, uh, uh, an internet radio station, but it's, it's, it's a big station out in the UK. So we're really excited about it. Are they, are they um, playing D-Evil? Yes. Awesome. With D-Evil. That song is such an awesome song. Thank you so much. Like, when we first came out with D-Evil, it was like, Everybody's like, oh my gosh, this is like ridiculous. What, what, what did you decide, decide to do this? Because yeah. I, I, it's a cross between, I'm a big MC5 fan, so, uh, and I'm a big Partridge Family fan. I, I used to love David Cassidy and their songs. Where they, were, they were very, uh, uh, they had a lot of minor keys in them, and I, it was kind of scary, some of their songs, you know? But, <laughs> but yet they had this major, like, uplifting type of thing. So they go, well, what? what you say D evil sounds like I go well it's a cross between like like MC5 and the evil partridge family <laughs> so that's what I try to say it's got that feel and you know with Jesse's voice and my voice it, it, there's there's this this amazing magical thing that comes with it and it's, it's just rad it's it's we got I mean, it's just rad a lot of yeah, I, I would just like to thank everybody out there uh, for being so loving to us uh, all these years and being very supportive of me and Chad and Nick and, and Tiny and um, 
I just want to thank everybody for that. It's it's a very I'll say this again. I know I'm being redundant with the word, but it's extremely humbling to us. Um, with so many amazing, t- there's so much amazing talent out there these days, uh, and so many bands and amazing groups that that we're still relative and that we're still doing what we're doing and putting out new music and um, for the for our people, our fans, our friends and family is just amazing. So we thank you so much and God bless you. And I'll tell you what. Be looking out from out of the skies. Be looking up because it's coming. Once again, thank you so much for your time. We're so excited to see the show tonight, and we cannot wait for the new CD. Thank you so much for this interview, and thank you for your time. It's freezing out here right now in L.A. and freezing to us. It's, it's pretty cold. It's cold for L.A. It's like in the 30s and stuff, so that's pretty cold for us. But it's, it's badass because we all get to snuggle up with each other. That's right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Hi, just real quick, I really would like to thank uh, our label, Frontiers SRL. I really like to thank Druzel Atkins for uh, just really just making magic with this band every day. She works extremely hard in in really crazy difficult situations, so we love her and thank her. Um, I would like to thank our our brother Dustin Jack. We just got doing a photo session, amazing photo session with him. So we really want to thank him and... um, Everybody that's out there that's just part of the Bullet Boys family, we just love you so hard, and we want to thank you. God bless you, and we're coming from out of the skies very, very soon. Peace. Cheers.